What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? It is your boy, the real Tundra, aka King Tundra, and I'm back with another State of Decay 2 video. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is this big update that we are currently getting for update 37. For starters, Sunny Games did say that there's supposed to be a new curveball mechanic, one that you can actually set up the way you want to have it set up for positives or negatives and you can choose whether you want that positive to occur frequently like high like they will stack on top of each other if you want positive only curveballs or if you want to be chaotic you can put it to negative curveballs only and you can have it the setting for how often they spawn in to the point where these things are stacking on top of each other but we had just we we just got the review for the update and this is something that i actually want to show you guys currently right now so as you can see i was live on my twitter and checking this stuff out and you know i see that we have new curveball events now as you know sunny games like i said he did talk about you know the new curveball mechanics and stuff and you know we're they're trying to work on making it a more realistic game like cities and all that stuff will have zombies and other places that shouldn't have zombies shouldn't have them now when we check out the new uh curveball events we got bangernomics which keeps your ride running smoothly even before the apocalypse was a pain and we got smoke storm which is the wind has carried over a dense thick plum of smoke from a mysterious explosion <laughs> And that curveball creates a suffocating smog that lowers your visibility. And you know, we got vehicles that slow down in water. And here's the quality of life improvements. We have stronger flashlights, which makes it more useful when exploring the world at night or indoors. And if you guys know, if you go indoors, them things do not work. And then we got the better nighttime lighting, which again, if you guys know, the, the nighttime lighting sucks. It sucks. It's too dark. It's too dark. But not only that, we got the home base mini marker. So that way you guys do not have to keep pausing and setting a marker from your home base. There's already going to be one there. And I feel like the first three things we got going on perfectly describes what I go through through my live streams. And if you guys want to join my live, you know, you guys can follow me live on Twitch. I will leave my Twitch down in the description below for you guys if you guys want to follow me and come chat it up with me live. Now we got the threatened enclave check. And what they're doing and what they're talking about with this is they're basically saying that, hey, when you go click on it, we understand that you might want to view their stuff and see what they got. Or you might want to trade and you accidentally click the threaten the enclave. But now we have it to where it's set for you to confirm if that's what you're doing or not. Because I've had a couple of times where I accidentally clicked the threaten enclave by accident. Now we got the enlist followers from the community screen. And what this means, you no longer need to run around searching for a specific follower. When in range of your home base, you can now directly enlist a follower to join from your community screen. We got the disengage from locked doors. It is now really easy to walk away from a locked door without using force. And I cannot tell you that is a annoying issue for me not gonna lie it really is an annoying issue for me and now we got the canceled out of a failed grapple animation previously when trying to grapple a s or assassinate a zombie from the front you can be locked into a failed animation which prevented you from performing other action for an extended i i have no clue as to what this is this can prove frustrating and was often no fault of the players. It is now the poss it is not possible to dodge out of this cancel animation. Again, I don't know nothing about this one, but maybe some of y'all was going through that. And we all know this one fix that they literally just um, fixed, and I'm glad they fixed it, which is the freak spotted voiceover. The freak spotted voiceover can be misleading as it sometimes plays when a survivor detects a freak that's not actually visible to 
to improve accuracy, the spotting call will not only trigger when the identified freak is within the survivor's line of sight. We have all come across this thing and I can honestly say when I'm live streaming and I'm watching this, I'm literally looking every time like, what are y'all talking about? What freak do y'all see? that I'm not seeing and when I would go check the map like I would pause and go view the map there's not a freak inside I mean there's a freak at a distance but it's like that's way off way off so I'm glad they fixed that and we got the cinematic kill cam toggle which means and I'm not gonna say what it means we all know what it means you know when you go to execute a zombie and it puts you like in a cinematic one and what they're saying right here is during decapitations of undead enemies, the game will transition to a zombie finisher, camera animations. While undeniably cool, which it is, this effect isn't unvert whatever preferred and can sometimes disrupt gameplay at inappropriate moments. It can now be toggled on and off with the gameplay settings menu. So which means if you don't want that cinematic animation on, you can now take it off. However, to me, it's not disruptive. I don't find it disruptive. I actually think it's pretty cool like they said, cause it is. But if some of y'all are having that issue, I can understand why. And we have the removed unfair zombie launches. Guys, this is one that I hate. I absolutely hate because when you are running from a zombie, you will notice that sometimes one zombie or two out of a whole horde or even out of like two or three zombies, there's one or two that will somehow manage to be locked on to you even while you are running away and they manage to catch up and start swinging at you or they would just end up like grabbing at you like they launch at you if you guys know what i'm talking about this is a thing and i i really do be hating when i be seeing this stuff because i really be like it's undead labs really watching my streams but i highly doubt it but it's just stuff that we all go through and what they're saying in this is remove the unintended unfair situation in which zombies could suddenly magnetize towards you with a grapple slash attack tackle attack despite dodging past or away from them and guys when i tell you they seemingly are really working on trying to fix this stuff they are literally working on trying to fix this stuff all right and like i said they're also trying to do real world um simulations kind of like how there are in movies and TV shows like The Walking Dead where when you clear out a building, that's it. There's no zombies spawning in or randomly popping up after you just cleared it. Once you clear it, it is cleared. Or when you end up driving to these areas, you know, and you got zombies spawning in or you're on the road and you got hordes of zombies and stuff spawning in or you got places where zombies probably should not be popular at unless it is the city so what they're doing with this simulation stuff now is they're going to have it to where when you go to a city let's say if you are in Trumbull Valley you go to Spencer's Mill you know it shouldn't be like how it is where zombies are just randomly popping up it should be like in the city where the majority of zombies should be so they're making it more realistic and i think that's absolutely cool and like i said with the curveball thing you are now able to change the settings to where if you want positive curveballs only and you can make it how high you want it to be or how frequently you want it to be and you can do the same thing you can make it negative to where you only have negative curveballs and i think you can put um I think there's a difficulty setting for the curveballs too, like how crazy you want them to be. And you can also do it to how often you want these things to pop in. You can have them pop in at a high rate, which means if you put these things, positive or negative, at a high rate, these things are going to stack on top of each other. And if you do negative and you put that difficulty up high with the settings, with the curveball settings, and you get a black heart, man, that is about to be issues. It is going to be issues, but 
you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think because for me i gotta say i am going to enjoy this and i have been waiting and i mean waiting for this curveball to pop out and you guys let me know if you guys think down in the comment section below if this is cool to you guys or not that they are literally working on these things to try to make a much better experience for us and also if you guys do like the video please for me drop a like as i have a light goal of 20 likes and i hope we can surpass 20 likes guys because it really helps me out in the youtube algorithm and also subscribe to the channel it's free it's free and just know i will be talking to you all later see you next time